Welcome to a new Salem Christmas. This is Bobby McAllister. For the next few minutes, join me and my family, New Salem, as we celebrate the birth of our Lord. Today's program will focus on Jesus, the light of the world, as well as being thankful for our families. Speaking of family, I'm very thankful for my own family. My wife, Jennifer Bradley McAllister, our son, Cabe, and our daughter, Allie, and Jennifer's mother, Shirley Bradley. They make up our family as well as our group, New Salem. We have so much to be thankful for. I think we don't stop often enough and really give the Lord praise and thanks for what he does for us. Uh, I find that when I wake up in the morning, if I just take a little time and just thank him for the day and thank him for everything he's done for me, uh, that always starts my day off better and everything goes much better all day long. So we just need to uh, give him more praise. Thanks, Shirley. Here's a song that goes right along with those thoughts. Gifts of Praise. A son is born so tiny and helpless Wrapped up in swaddling clothes Mary, his mother, silently ponders The wonderful truth she knows A brand new star up in the heavens Lights up the eastern sky For here in a manger in Bethlehem Worship Jesus the King, sing, sing of His glorious grace, God has come down to man, God has come down to man. Beneath the star, the day spring from heaven gives light to those who are lost. Lamb of God, born in a stable, will meet you at Calvary's cross. So come, come, ye weary and burdened, laden with guilt and shame. For God sent his Son to save and deliver. the King. Sing, sing of His glorious grace, Christ our Redeemer reigns. Christ our Redeemer reigns. Come, come, bring Him gifts of praise. Come, worship Jesus the King. Sing, sing of His glorious grace, Christ our Redeemer thankful for my family. I love spending time with them each and every day of the year. But Christmas time is a special season to slow down and spend time with family and friends, knowing that each one is a blessing from God. Our Heavenly Father loves family too, and for this reason Jesus came, so that we could be part of His family. Thanks, Jennifer. Here's Allie with some additional thoughts on giving thanks. As we enjoy this Christmas season, let's be thankful and remember to say thank you to family members, friends, pastors, teachers, leaders, and all the people who bless our lives. Most of all, let's give praise to God our Father for loving us and giving us salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 2 says, When Jesus was born, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And the star went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. This is New Star Shining. They didn't 
don't own a house No crib, no toys were waiting Still they had their love For the child they were anticipating He was born one winter night On a road between two towns They wrapped him up so warm and tight Said it looks like heaven's come down There was a new star shining In the sky up above By his light on that winter night They found peace and perfect love If we want to find Cause that new star is shining for us still They worried how to feed him Simple trade was all they knew But it was hard enough to make ends meet When they were only two But the cold dark and hunger couldn't take away their joy and she knew that they would find a way for that precious baby boy there was a new star shining in the sky up above by his light on that winter night they found peace and perfect love if we want to find it i know we always will cause that new star is Cause that new star is shining for us still We've all heard of the beautiful star shining over the little town of Bethlehem the night Jesus was born. But have you heard of the light that still shines today? It's the Holy Spirit. He shines through the children of God to show the world the way to the Savior. It's my prayer that His light will shine through my life to guide lost souls to Christ. Thanks again, Jennifer. That's my prayer as well. Here's our son, Cabe. Around Christmas time, people think of things that they're thankful for. And I would just like to say that I'm thankful for my family. For all my life, they've shown me the love of God through the things that they've said and done. But more importantly... I'm thankful for a Heavenly Father who loves me, and for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who promised He would never leave me nor forsake me. As we go through this season, sometimes we have a tendency to forget what we're even celebrating. Here's Cabe again to remind us what it's all about. When Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, they brought spiritual blindness upon themselves, which they passed down to all people. But when Jesus, the Son of God, was born, he brought a new and glorious morning to the earth, and now those who believe in him receive spiritual sight. In John 8:12, we can read these words of Jesus. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. These are verses 1 through 9 from the first chapter of the book of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, 
that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Thank you, Lord, for seeing us through the light of your Son and for making us worthy through his sacrifice on Calvary. This is O Holy Night. Thank you for sharing these past few minutes with us. We hope it's been a blessing to you. This is Bobby McAllister inviting you to join us next time as we celebrate Jesus with A New Salem Christmas.